Okay, so welcome everyone to the to our Wednesday public lecture. Today we will be talking and and reflecting together on the chapter twenty one of this Le Living Spring book called Majority. Um, uh, just for you to know that I, I in my research to to prepare and do and do this this study, I also saw this chapter called in some of uh, translations called greatness, and then we will talk a, a little bit about that uh, as 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 we evolve uh, in our reflection. Okay, but I decided to keep majority because the 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 book we are using it's majority, so it's just a commentary, a side commentary, but it will be important as as we move. Okay. Uh, just uh, calling everyone's attention that we have a, a website at uh, chicochavierportland.org. So in our website, you will find all the information uh, on, on our, our center, uh, the way that we work. We are, as I mentioned, we're still to update the, the schedule. Uh, and you also you find the ways of participating, contributing uh, uh, with us by donating and help us to continue our uh, work, which uh, which is totally based on volunteer, volunteering and, and donation. OK, so if you're curious, go there, you will learn more about us and then you find out how you can contribute with our center, okay? So just for us to, uh, before we, 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 we start reflecting and reading the, the, the chapter, let's do a little bit of, uh, a little play, prayer, a little introspection, and, 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 and just for, to, for ourselves to, to, to be, present at this moment. So I would invite everyone to close your eyes, uh, find peace in your minds, find peace in your body, uh, find peace in your breath, uh, slowly breathing in, breathing in, breathing out, and connecting once again with your, with you, with your body, with your spirit, with your soul, elevating your thoughts, your mind, your heart to God, to a dear friend and brother, Jesus, to all mentors and elevated guided spirits that work with us, that protect us in our daily lives. Thanking them, first of all, for being here, for being presented in this incarnation with all the teachings of these Jesus and also of coming from the spiritism, um, asking them protection, asking them to open our minds, our hearts to the words that we will learn, discover, and discuss today. Words and learnings um, coming from uh, the time that Jesus was here in our, on earth with us, uh, the words shared by our dear mentor, Emmanuel, uh, with the participation, of course, of our dear uh, mentor and friend, Chico Xavier. Um, so wishing all of us uh, positive reflection um, and outcome of our studies today. So it be. Okay, so I, as I initially explained, I saw um, the majority being translation, translated as also as greatness in, in some of the translations of the of the living spring book and and in, in this chapter Emmanuel starts by with the uh, 
um, gospel gospel passage uh, in the in the book of Paul uh, to the Hebrews chapter uh, seven uh, seven, where he Paul talks talk to the Hebrews, one of the the, the communities that he he used to to write and correspond through letters. And what he says is, uh, is the following. And without a doubt, the lesser is blessed by the greater, okay? So this is the message that Paul uh, writes to the Hebrews. Uh, and just as I always like to do, just to share a little bit the, 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 the historical context the where this passage comes from is at the time uh, the 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 Jew the Jewish that became Christian the Jewish Christian population uh, at the, in the in the Hebrew, Hebrew community uh, we know that after the Jesus departure and after the, all the apostles and disciples it started to spreading the word of God and after years and years uh this population they they started down, doubting a little bit and also uh thinking on returning to some practices of the judaism okay so they didn't have the presence of jesus any longer with them uh years have passed by and somehow they were losing a little bit the faith uh and the content with the the teachings right of 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 jesus and and they were already showing signs of uh going back to the old habits and also old uh, beliefs uh and at this time paul's right writes to them uh explaining the the whole paragraph right uh Paul explains that Jesus' priesthood, Jesus' uh, teachings, uh, is the is 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 greatest than any of the Jewish priester, priesters and priesthood. So just just to set the context, that uh, Paul again trying to bring back. The, the the figure of Jesus as the greatest of all, okay? And then with that, he says that the lesser, that the, the ones who have less will be blessed are, or are blessed by the ones who have more. So overall context. And then now uh, we will listen and read together what Emmanuel writes about that, okay? So chapter 21, majority. In all, activity, in all the activities of life, some reach the natural majority among their relatives, companions, and contemporaries. Some become greater in physical experience, in knowledge, virtue, or competence. Though, in general, the ones who has the support of any level of superiority frequently takes advantage of it to forget his doubts concerning their neighbor. Very often, those who reach the financial majority become avaricious. Those who find the scientific highlight turn into presumptive presumptuous individuals and those who find themselves in the gallery of power embrace the vein of pride. The law of life, however, does not recommend exclusivity and separateness. By div divine principles, all legitimate progress converts into blessing to the entire community. The very nature offers sublime lessons in its sense. 
the tree, they grow fruits. The fountain grows the benefit, the, the soil. If you have grown in experience or, in, or elevation of any kind, remember the fraternal community, remember the fraternal communion with all. The sun with its rays of light does not abandon the muddy cave, does not it, nor does it disdain the worn. Development is power. Note how you employ the advantages that you receive, you have received in your existences. The high spirit among all those personalities who have stepped on the earth's soil, accepted the supreme sacrifice to assist everyone unconditionally. So this is, this is Jesus. Do not forget that according to the divine institute, the lesser is blessed by the greater. Okay? So it's a very, very rich, uh, very tiny passage, very rich uh, content that, as always, Emmanuel brought to us. So the first part, uh, the kind of the first paragraph that I, I would like to ask to reflect a little bit is the natural majority of life, right? And then I brought here uh, a picture of a family, Right? We have our little Olivia coming in, and that she's the first one in line there. And then we have, uh, we are babies, and then we acquire skills, we acquire, acquire competence, we become toddlers, we become kids, and we become adolescents, and we learn more. And then we study, and we become professional, and then we get married, and then we we form our own family and then our family grows and we become bigger family and we learn more and then we take care of the ones that are coming after us. So this is the, the natural majority, right? Uh, it's part of life. We, 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 born, we are born, we grow, we expand our capabilities and then we share with, with others. Right, so this is it's what Emmanuel calls the majority, the natural, the, the, the natural majority uh, of, of of life. Right, so this is what we're calling the majority, right? the, and then we become great. Each one becoming great in what we each bring the potential for, or either we work hard to get that greatness. Right, uh, so doctors they study medicine, and some of them became great doctors. You know, professors, and we have priests, and we we see even uh, Arodo. No, when every time I hear Arodo Dutra talking about his spiritism, and how much knowledge he has, how great he is in in, in spreading the word word of of of. Jesus of the spiritism. So in every field of life, uh, we always we will always have the ones greater than the other or the greatest one due, due to many reasons. Effort, sacrifice, study, talent, gift, we name it, okay? And then what we, and then is that we became greater in different things, physically, in experiencing knowledge, in virtues, in competence, and, and so it goes. And then if we, if, if we go to the gospel, chapter 17, there is a beautiful chapter. It's a, it's a big chapter uh, called uh, Be Perfect, where, where, the, where Kardec brings to us a lot of content around our evolution, our progress. And one of the, one of the teachings here is that uh, in this chapter, Be Perfect, is, uh, it's, he talks about the characteristics of perfection, right? And one of those characteristics is, is it's those who are superior needs to help 
the inferior. It's how it's translated, right? So uh, this is really one of the one of the interesting kind of callouts of the of the the the, the chapter as a whole, uh, and we are expected. It's required from the ones that are more perfect or closer to perfection to bless, to help the ones in different stages, okay? And then in that chapter two, and then I think JC mentioned in her, in her close, close, closing prayer at, in our previous study, uh, saying that the sense of perfection on earth is relative, right? Uh, we are not perfect here. We live in a we live in a, in a world of 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 not perfect people, right? Uh, our behavior, our moral. We know that we are still uh, a, a planet of a lot of challenges, and but the relative perfection that ex is expecting of us, right? And one of the questions to the spirits is what does the perfection consist for us, for us human beings living planet, in the planet Earth? And Jesus said, in loving one's enemies, in doing good to those who hate us and praying for those who persecute us. So by loving our enemies, by loving ourselves, God and the other, we are in our tra trajectory to perfection, trajectory to greatness on earth, okay? So the first reflection is really around what is to be perfect? What is to be great in this in the planet we live, right? We we don't expect uh, the perfection to the level of Jesus Christ, right? And the ones who are more perfect, or the, they they have, they are, they are gifted. They're more gifted compared to the others. Should help or bless the ones to come, right? And then the and then every one of us have different gifts, different greatness to share with our community. Okay. And Menu continues and saying that very often uh, our gifts, our virtues, they become even seems, right? He, he, he talks about the financial, uh, a person with a rich financial majority become avaricious. The ones uh, reaching scientific knowledge it becomes presumptuous. Uh, the ones, uh, the one uh, embracing and, 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 and collecting a lot of power uh, embraces pride, okay? So in general, and usually when, when we look at the, uh, to the, the seven deadly scenes uh, uh, of humanity, right? That we call uh, uh, greed, anger, pride, lust, slush, envy, and, and gluttony, kind of the, the famous seven scenes. They are not bad at themselves, but they are just the excessive use of a virtue, right? So, uh, and then this is what it's here written in the slide. In general, the one who has the support of any level of superior, superiority frequently takes the advantage and forget the death concerning their neighbors. So usually uh, the, v, the, v, the vicious, it happens when we don't share the virtue, okay? So uh, I have money, great. 
if I hold the money to myself only, what happened? What might happen? Right? I collected everything for me and I don't share. I have food. I, and then I don't share. I, I eat them all. I enjoy the pleasures of drinking. I enjoy the pleasures of uh, proud. I'm not uh, humble, humble enough, right? So it's it's really a, a call to say that the 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 virtue itself it's a good thing as long as I share with someone else, right? And they don't become the vices. No? In Portuguese, we say the vicious, right? So the a virtude, the, the virtue, don't become the, the vices, o vicio. Uh, so on that note, uh, Emmanuel brings that by the divine principles, all progress should convert in blessings into the entire community, okay? And then he, in the passage, he, 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 he brings the example of the trees. The trees, they grow, they grow fruits. They don't keep the fruits on, to themselves. They share with the community, right? Uh, the fountains, uh, they grow from the benefit, they, they benefit the soil, right? The sun, they benefit the cave, it benefits the worm, it benefits the whole ecosystem, right? So nature doesn't keep the resources to itself, right? So this is the invitation. Are we sharing our resources? Are we sharing our virtues? Are we sharing our talents with the community? with the ones around us. Not only the ones that we love, our close family. This one is easy to share, right? Uh, but are we sharing the, our greatness, our, the stage of, ma of majority that we achieved with our entire community? And then he says, development is power. Right. So as I develop, as I develop, as I grow, as I get better, I get more powerful. And what happens? With power, it comes responsibility. Mm -hmm. Right. If uh, with power, it comes the the responsibility of of the greatness, which is blessing the lesser. I, how do I bless the lesser? It's distributing what I have the most. It can be money, it can be knowledge, it can be words, it can be love, it can be affection, it can be, uh, you name it, no? It can be my, my power of speaking, my, my power of helping, people so once I have more I'm expected to give more okay. and then I found this picture right so this is really kind of power is development great we have a person climbing the stairs by herself here and develop and, and growing but this is the the, the development we want to see right? Mm -hmm. Development is power. It's the real powerful, I would say, when we share with the community, when we hold hands with the ones that need more than us, the lesser are blessed by the greater, right? Uh, and then the question is, right, are we sharing uh, with our community? How is our fraternal sharing, right? With the ones around us. And once again, not only the ones that we love that live in the same house as us, my neighbor, right? My neighbor in a more extended way. The ones that share 
the same space than I do in my city, in the school I go, in the university I go, in the work I go, in the, in the workplace I attend, okay? And then we know about the law of progress. Uh, in, in, in all the, in the spirits book, in the gospel, we know that the law of, the, of progress is one of our of the Jesus and God's nature, uh, natural, natural law, uh, God's law. Uh, independent if we want or not, we will progress. We will be greater one day. And we will be great, greater and greater as we develop. So there are two, it, it's a, there's a lot of content, of course, in this chapter. Uh, but I, I brought two questions that the spirits, uh, that Alan Kardec, that Alan Kardec asks, asks the spirits that I would like to highlight here is the 799 and the 783. On the 799, um, Alan Kardec asks, do, do humans contain a force with them that propels them forward on the path of progress? Or progress is only the, a product of, of education, okay? So uh, the spirits reply, human beings develop themselves naturally. naturally. Thanks God, right? Uh, human beings do not progress at the same rate, right? So we have different levels uh, and speed of development or in the same manner, in the same way. This is why the most advanced, the greatest, help others more forward through their social content, contact. Human beings develop themselves naturally. Oh no, sorry, I, it's, it's repeat, repeat it, repeat it, yeah. So this is kind of the message. We will progress no matter what. It may take centuries, many, many incarnations, but we will get there. And we always have the ones that are greater than us to help us. So don't forget that. The greater will bless the lesser, right? And in the, in the question uh, seven, uh, 703, uh, Kardec asks, does the improvement of humanity always follow a progressive and slow march? And then the answer is, there is, a there is a regular slow progress that inevitably results for circumstances. But when a population does not advance quickly enough, God create a physical or moral shock that hastens its transformation. So, the law is clear, we will develop, right? The greater will help the lesser and the humanity will elevate. What? We will be better, we will be inhabitants of other planets and we will progress until we get the, the stage of really very high spirits, right? But in case that we are very naughty and we get stuck here, uh, the universe, God, will help us accelerating, right? So that's why we see also some moments in the history of humanity that we have some um, events that help accelerating the, ma the maturity and the majority of the population, okay? So I really recommend who is interested in learning more about the law of, of progress. Um, it's a very eye-opening um, chapter uh, from the Spirits book, and I really recommend us, us going deep on that. Okay, and then uh, just for us to to close up, to close out, uh, and then Emmanuel closes and finishes with this beautiful message, right? The highest spirit that we know that is Jesus. Among all those personalities, whoever stepped in the earth soil, there he is, accepted this supreme sacrifice 
to assist everyone unconditionally. So Jesus did not come here to hold his knowledge, his power, right? His capacity, capability of doing everything he did for himself, for him family, his family, from his own people, right? The contrary, he did share with the ones that he 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 knew less, the lessers, right? The ones that need him most, the ones in suffering, the ones uh, in, in, in all types of suffering, yeah? physical, uh, emotionally, mentally, uh, financially, and so we go. So the, um, the, the message here really that uh, I would like to ask to reflect tonight and for the rest of the, the week is that are we sharing our greatness, right? With the lessers. And we are letting also the greater, the greater, the greaters help us, right? Because it, it is a two-way path. It's, a, it's also, it's to help in the areas that you know more. And also be, being, let someone bless us, right? So we, in our life, are we allowing these two to happen? Okay. So it's a beautiful message was, was as always, I love, um, deep diving uh, in Emmanuel's kind of books and, and, and messaging. And I hope that you, you, you had had great uh, reflections and, and, and insights today as I did. Okay. So, and then uh, we go to the virtual pass now, spiritual pass. Uh, I would like to invite, to invite all of you to, to close your eyes, to breathe, to think in Jesus, to think in our, in this, our, the greatest spirit that has ever stepped on earth. That's uh, thinking on, on, on him, extending his arms towards earth, extending his light towards our planet, extending his love to every one of us present here and also the ones that could not be here together, the ones that are incarnated and the ones that are not incarnated. To the light of Jesus, the greatness, the greatness of Jesus may touch every one of us may touch our hearts, may touch our spirit, may touch our houses, our family members, may touch our water, our bottle of water that we have next to us, bring all the good fluids, the right fluids we need in our journey. The greatness of Jesus bless our country, the, black, the greatness of Jesus, bless our path. And with this greatness, after having received this greatness, that we can also be able from now on to share our greatness with every single person to cross our way. Receiving greatness and passing on greatness. This is what Jesus is asking us. The greater, the greater blessing, the lesser. May it be so it be. Amen. Thank you.
پیگرده به چیز به خواهی آشونی 